Hi guys, this is part 2 of my CD Rising Raptors review. The link to part 1 of this review is above. Now let's start with the test drive. Please excuse the bad light. The tires are very grippy on this fine concrete surface. It's quite fast, but not as fast as the WL Toys A959. Now it's time for the fine gravel test. It's handling really really well with its oil filled jocks and the grippy tires. It's very controllable, way better than a double L Toys A959 for example. Frequent viewers may know this puddle. So, is it waterproof? No issues so far, fingers crossed. A bit of water seems to be fine, but will it survive the big jump? Nice, this thing is perfectly balanced. So far so good, but how does it look below the body after this torture? As you can see there is lots of gravel inside. But surprisingly pinion and spur gear are still not locked. Look at this mess around the gears. Let's do a second jump. Okay, but does it really like water? It's a wonder, no issues so far. Oops, it was entirely my fault. And this is the result. Crap. Now let's see what the damage is. A cracked servo saver arm. It was attached above the spring. This camber adjustment screw also sheared off. Note that the steel part broke, not the plastic part. So plastic parts are not necessarily a bad choice. This thing is extremely dirty. So before the repair we have to clean it. Please keep the battery connectors dry.
Same for the car. Keep electronics part as dry as possible. Pinion and spur gear were completely locked up after this washdown. And here you can see why. Luckily the spur gear is not damaged. Fine gravel was built in between the spur gear and the chassis plate. In order to get it out I had to remove the entire rear axle. Really not a good design. Now let's remove the broken upper control arm. Removing one half of the adjustment screw was easy. But removing this half is a problem. In the first step an even surface is filed. And then this groove. It allows to remove the remaining piece with a small screwdriver. Success! Both pieces of the broken screw are removed. This M3 screw is used as a replacement. The screw head is removed on the lathe. The screw is now in place and the repair of the front axle is done. The next step is to replace the broken servo saver. The adjustment screw is secured with very strong Loctite, so we need to heat it. Now we are able to remove the nut. Look how complicated this mechanism is. And the servo saver arm is just too thin. We will make the new one thicker. So I designed the replacement part in Fusion 360. As always you can download the STL data on my Thingiverse. This is the reassembled servo saver unit. Works perfectly. The part was 3D printed in PLA. The layer thickness is 0.2 mm and the infill 100%. This is another shot which shows how it works. Looks like it works perfectly. The steering rack is in its center position. But as you can see, the toe is way off. This results in an asymmetrical steering angle. But luckily all the linkages are adjustable, so let's do it. I will use this 4mm 3D printed wrench. As you can see the servo horn is not square. The servo horn is now square in the center position of the steering rack. And the wheels are aligned properly. The result is a completely symmetrical steering angle. So now we are ready to do some more test drives, hopefully without the crash.
like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye!